Car mounts, AirPods, Bluetooth, MP3 players. MP3 players? Those are still a thing? That's what Riley said when I suggested we do this video because honestly though, why would you ever need or even want a separate device just for playing audio when you already have one in your pocket? Like it doesn't make any sense. Except of course, in those cases where it does make a lot of sense. Like what if you don't want to strap a giant phablet to your arm when you go for a run? Or what if you, what if you want to listen to some tunes while you go swimming or something? Or what, if, or what if your phone or even your PC has like sucky audio and you want to feel the rumble of the bass in your loins? Like, <sighs> Origin PC has got powerful high-end desktops and laptops with a multitude of options including up to two terabytes of fast storage with Samsung's 870 Cuvo SSDs. Check them out today at the link in the video description. So what we have are is an audiophile option yep. sort of a more budget, more wallet-friendly audiophile option. Sure. A super, super cheap option. AGP tech. You ever heard of them? Sounds classic. Well, it's just AGP, like like old graphics cards. Yeah, no, anyway. Yeah, that's fine. not what it is. But, and then this thing, which kind of exists in this weird middle ground of like high-end and cheap and versatile. Anyways, we'll get to that. Okay, where do I start? Let's start with the budget one. The budget one. Oh yeah, AGPT tech. I don't know what that means, but- Advanced graphics port tech. I found it on Amazon uh, for cheap. Crazily enough, the look is not that different from my first MP3 player, <laughs> an RCA Lyra. This is the AGP tech SO7. Yep, eight Memorable. gigs. Eight gigs of, of storage. Lots of adapters. Lots of adapters because it only has a 3.5 millimeter output which you use to charge and sync and for the headphones. Wait, you charge with the three and a half mil jack? Yeah, it's got a three and a half mil to USB-A connector. Wow, don't plug that into the wrong thing. <laughs> ah, 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 my thumb, ah, ah, I won't get, won't get off, oh! Oh, it got off, oh. Yeah, so let's see this. It specifically says on this accessory, not for charging. <laughs> Player Please. will not charge <laughs> through this headphone extension. They gotta Plug make sure. charger directly ah. into player. I think I figured out how it works though. There's no microphone input on this, so you would only need a three pole, three and a half mil. Okay. So you would have grounding in that. And then they're just using a four pole cable and then they've gone and wired the fourth pole up to uh, the probably the five volt uh, positive terminal and then that's how they've wired it up internally. This is like totally, totally non-standard. This is kind of cool then. Totally breaks the spec. Innovative. Um, and then curiously, they include two. A short one. And a long one. And a really short one. These look, they look like a butt plug. They look, <laughs> they look, they look like they're gonna, yeah, uh, violate your eardrum a little bit. Okay. Now, I didn't actually put those in my ears. I would hope not. Because I wanted to save uh, all the, your earwax. What the f is this? <laughs> when you're swimming, you don't, uh, it doesn't go all over the place. There's a bunch of these kind of like $20, $30 MP3 players that you can get on Amazon. Yeah. But this one was like $40. And waterproof. And I'm like, that's in, that's in the same ballpark. Plus it's waterproof. That's also why these, uh, you know, ribbed for your pleasure earbuds uh, are designed in such a way. This isn't the video I wanted to make. Ugh. Ooh, how does that feel? Wow, actually that's quite unpleasant. Yeah, yeah too far. Well, I think that's the idea, right? Because if you don't have multiple seals, water's definitely gonna get past it. Like when I pull on it, it's uh, like, like it feels like it's like moving my skull around, you know? Uh, are you playing? Uh, I think so. You don't, you're not plugged in. <laughs> oh, well, there's your problem. How's the si sound isolation though? Obviously not that great, because you can still hear me. Oh yeah, I can hear everything just fine. Well, play some music, play some music. Okay, these are not good headphones. <laughs> These I'm very familiar with. Problem was the earphones. These these are absolutely terrible. There's nothing about this. They're not. It's not great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's like. But it's fine. So this looks like a normal pair of you know uh, not non-true wireless uh, earbuds, right? Sort of. They're pretty bulky. <laughs> well, they're bulky for a reason because it's a built-in audio player in the headphones. It's a and it can also be used as Bluetooth headphones, like normally with your phone or whatever but it's got four gigs of onboard storage. Better and noise isolation than the last one, I'll tell oh yeah, you that much. for sure. 
This comes with a lot of ear tips. Yes. My goodness. So the reason that there's two separate packages is because some of those are regular. Yeah. And the other ones are swimming earbuds. Ribbed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> swimming. Yeah, well, no, we already experienced that. There's no more no more rib for your pleasure. We're, we're, we're safe, Linus. That's not ribs. That's like foothills. That's actually pretty interesting. The swimming ones have like this... Uh, little extra... Like it's a membrane over the, over the ear hole. Yeah. They are very heavy and bulky. Like right. you're going to look like Lobot, you know? Hello, well, I am Lando Calrissian's no. <laughs> robot okay. butler. I know, that, I know that this is a great bit for you, but you don't look at, like Lobot at all. All right. I'm oh, sorry. I gotta get rid of my hair. Oh, there it is. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, there. Yeah. Now am I oh, a robot? It's a spitting image. Yeah. Am I on Cloud City? See, yes. I wanted to test these out myself before I gave them to you, but all the pools are closed. But you were allergic to work. That's right. Check, check, so check. So you press Bluetooth for ambient mode and you hold it for Bluetooth pairing. Yes. That's kind of unintuitive. Yeah, I would I would press mode for ambient mode, but... Well, I guess it's quicker. If someone's talking, you need to hear them, you click it once instead of holding it. Linus is okay as a boss, but most of the time he... I'm pretty sure you're talking about me. <laughs> yeah, but I, well, I wasn't expecting much for $100 with headphones yeah. integrated into a, an MP3 player. Yeah, so yeah. I don't know. Okay, all right, what's next? What's next, Linus, is the Fio M5. Now you've heard of Fio before. Wow, this has some weight to it. Well, you should see it's huge. It's an Apple Watch. And this thing, unlike the other devices we looked at, it, it plays every file type under the MP3, OGG, AC, AIFF, Flax, Waves. You know, there's a whole big list. We'll put it on screen. Yeah. It's not waterproof though. It's not, not those kinds of waves. This sounds so much better than the AGP tech, and that's with the same headphones. Right, 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 right. So the power button acts as a play pause, and then if you hold it, it turns off. So at least you've got that tactile feedback if it's in your pocket. For like a $100 MP3 player, this sounds good. Yeah. In a nutshell then, it's iPod Nano meets Apple Watch. Basically, yeah. Cool. Plus do Bluetooth USB DAC amp thing. That's the coolest thing to me. It's not waterproof. I'm out. It, ah, get out I'm of here. Out. I'm out. What All else? right. So the next step up then in order to satisfy you, Linus, is the Fio. Fio? I don't know. I actually don't know either. This is one of those. M11. This I requested from them oh. because I was like, why is there a $400 MP3 player in the year, <laughs> I think it was 2019 at the right. time. And then I never tried it because I didn't get around to it. So you might be wondering in the audience why we just went from $100 mp3 player to a 400 dollars audio player and the answer to that is kind of like once you get into the 200 300 range with audio players you kind of start asking more questions about what you're getting it for your money because there's a lot of like these android powered you know big screen audio players in the like 200 300 range and at that point i'm like it's just basically a phone if you're looking to save a buck, this looked like a really good place to be, the M5. Right. And then if you're gonna spend a bunch of money, you might as well get something fully featured like the M11, which looked very interesting to us. So this improves so on this the M5. So this is Android. Yeah, it runs Android, it runs Android 7, which is kind of scary, but at the same time, you don't actually have to connect to the internet with this thing if you just like connect it to your PC and like load M music on it. I don't know. So the main difference between this and the M5 is obviously it just kind of has some more power and versatility in terms of it does run Android, so you can do anything you want to do on Android on it. Type C charging. You've yep. got uh, what are all these so outputs? It's got 3.5 mil output, but it also has balanced outputs in 2.5 mil and 4.5 mil. Okay. So. The, the versatility is there for the real audio files. It does have 32 gigs of internal storage as opposed to Wait, zero. On is it the not M5. expandable? And there's two micro SD card slots. Where? Uh, on the side here. Oh, you, they're you hiding. The, you need the pin to, to open They're hidey them. hiding. Okay, can I just take this horrible case off of sure. it? Sure. Is this included? Uh, it's included, yeah. Ew, it's like, it's gone <laughs> yellow with age. Linus, somebody designed that. Well, they did a bad job. Oh. I'm sorry, Fio. People might be asking why we didn't do iPods and Zunes, and that's because, you know, those are the obvious choices. Yeah, well... You can, anybody can go out and buy an old iPod or old Zune. We wanted to get, like, somewhat new stuff, okay? You can change your output, you can change your gain. Uh, there's a low-pass filter mode, including a bunch of different fine-tuning options for it. 
shift your balance. This is cool. So you can say if you have an inline remote or not. Let's see if it works now that I've activated it. I think this track just takes a little while to get started. Double click to next tool. Yep. Hold on, let's try triple to go back. Oops, I pressed it four times. I always have a hard time with that triple click. Yeah, look at that. Huh, that's pretty cool. The other really notable thing that I would say with this is that it's got 13 and a half, 13 hours of playback with wired headphones, but it's got 48 hours of playback if you're using Bluetooth headphones. I think for me, the magic bullet is really something like this. It costs little enough that I'm kind of like, yeah, that's something that I could, I could justify for MP3 playback. It saves me some battery life on my phone. It's got a touchscreen at least, unlike these other ones where I just have to like memorize what's in my, what's in my playlist expandable storage. I think the M5 is really the star of the show. That's my takeaway. Anyway. If you're not a swimmer. If you're not a swimmer. If you are a swimmer, however. Then this is probably a better bet. Jeez. Sorry, we wanted to do this at the pool, but they're all closed. He's, he's yelling. Why are you yelling so loud? Because, you know, I'm trying to, I just, I just want to know if, if I can still hear the music if I'm yelling under the water. Can you? Actually, yeah. Pretty good? It's a little gurgly. What about during breaststroke? Still works? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, still works. Pretty good. Get, get some butterfly. I, I can't butterfly, so it might look a little awkward. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that cord is still dangling all over the place. Yeah, so. This is, seems to be pretty waterproof too, I guess. I don't know if I trust it that much. These earphones are still very uncomfortable. <laughs> Just like this segue to our sponsor. Drop.com and Sennheiser with their PC37X gaming headset. It's got angled drivers and an open back design and the drivers come from the same family as the HD 598 and HD 600s. So they're gonna sound a lot better than these. I can tell you that much for sure. They offer great stereo imaging and locational accuracy and come with a noise canceling microphone. They sold over 40,000 of these and they include a two year manufacturer warranty. So don't wait, check them out at the drop in the video description. If you guys enjoyed this video and you're looking for something else to watch, I think the last time I got in a showering video was our teaser for Computex 2014. And then there was one time before that where I checked out a Bluetooth shower head. Oh, wow. That was pretty neat. There's also a Bluetooth speaker. Okay, right? fine. Or you can check out the one where we built our Bluetooth speaker. That's more recent and definitely better than those other ones. <laughs>